So greetings from Pennsylvania once again. Of course, we are just at the Fieldstone Farm Preserve down there with my friends down there. Uh, DD Explorers, Kathy and uh, Journey with Jay. So once, as always, like their, their links to their channels will be down below too. But we just, like I said, we just got done with the, what's called the Fieldstone Farm Preserve, the ruins, some awesome waterfalls were up there. And where we are now is, I think in the previous video, I referred, I referred to it as mystery meat, kind of like in high school, when you get the lunches, sometimes you don't always know what, what that meat is. Um, but yeah, this is a place that Kathy kind of heard about, kind of did some research on. She wasn't sure if there was anything here or not. So we just kind of came, decided to see if there's anything here. And actually, right off the bat, there's some really cool ruins down here. So this is gonna be, this is gonna be worth it. So I'll turn it around so we can see what I can see. So we came down this slightly sketchy road. Up at the top is what's called Devil's Hole Road. But then, as we came down, there's a nice small parking area, and boom, off the woods there, you can see some, see some ruins. So for mystery meat, this has turned out to be pretty good. Some nice cooked, whoops, I tripped on these rocks. Some nice cooked ham, it looks like. I could use that analogy. That's the way it is with these explorers. Sometimes you just don't know if anything's going to be there or not. And in this case, wow. Yeah, check that out. So we'll have to try to figure out what this mystery building is. It is right next to a significant stream, so you know, Dee Dee mentioned it could be potentially some kind of sawmill or something. But we'll. Have a look around. Yeah, I got figured out which way I want to go. Let's go. Let's just go this way a while. I mean, look at all the look at the beautiful stone arches. Yeah, wow. Let's just quick take a look over here. Oh yeah, there's Kathy. It almost looks like yeah. You see, there's a. Uh, uh, almost like they mounts for like engines or something were in here. That's kind of what it looks like. For generators maybe or something like that. But wow, it's pretty cool in here. The doors. Yeah. I'll check out this huge beam of wood. It looks burned. And there's some pillars. I'm, I'm definitely thinking something industrial, not like a house or anything, because. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty cool, though. Oh, stuck on a branch there. Almost looks like a fireplace. But yeah, there's another huge chunk of wood in there. Yeah, so we were just having a discussion as to what this is, but this area down here is much deeper. Pretty sure that water ran through here. I'll get a better view of it in their spot, but it's definitely not residential. So, something to do with water power, probably. So we can get a view in here. Yeah, see so yeah, how this drops way down. Looks like water came in through there. Oh, look at all the trash. Yeah, way down there you can see Kind of like a tunnel where water probably would have exited out up here. So there might have been some kind of water wheel in here of some sort. So there is a big, like, structural beam above us, too. Yeah, so here's taking a look at it from the back side. 
because in there is where we we're just looking down in. But check it out, got these little uh, pillars out here. There's one there, one there, one there. Almost like they were bringing, like there might have been something up top bringing water down from there and then going in to our area down in here. All right, but I'm gonna follow these pillars back just a little bit just to see if there's anything up here. I'm guessing he may have dammed this stream further up and had water come down through here. I'm guessing. Oh, the train whistle. Let's see if there's anything up here. I hear that train. But here looks like some uh, concrete. Like this was a little mini pillar headed up this way. Almost like there was a channel up that way a little bit. Well, that train's pretty close. Okay, I'm still looking up there. I'm starting to notice that these are man-made concrete things. Things. Looks like there was a pipe sitting in there. I'm seeing some more up there. They all have little divots in them for a pipe set. So that is indeed so a pipe came down from the hill there. And those pillars carried the pipe across to that building. So that's what we're seeing. Also seeing some other railroad uh, ties over here and stuff. Let me quick show you what I'm talking about. All these. See, here we go. All of these concrete things have a little divot in them. You can see them going all the way up through. So they carried a pipe down. Yeah, and here are those railroad ties I was talking about. Just a pile of them here. All right, let's head back down and see what else we can find. This place is pretty awesome. I was not expecting to be here today. I didn't even know that Kathy was planning on coming to this spot. But this is pretty awesome. All right, so they're headed up there to check out what I was just looking at. But we're going to make our way down this way past the ruins apparently there's a really cool tunnel down here the bridge is oh yeah oh yeah there's some modern looking ones here oh somebody's hat But yeah, okay, wow, that goes back in there. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you have the modern bridge with two uh, arches. But back through there is an older one. You know, that's probably the railroad bridge. We heard that railroad train earlier. So this is like the culvert. The one that's above us is for the road, and this is the one for the railroad. Awesome. Yeah, right there's the railroad bed. So we'll have to come explore that tunnel someday. Maybe when it's a little bit warmer. It's not terribly cold today, but I'm not prepared to get wet right now. That'd be a cool place to explore. Nice walk through. Awesome. Yeah, so down there was that culvert. Yeah, because right up there is, right up there is the railroad bed. Back at the ruins. Not sure where everybody is. I guess they're still up yonder. But since we're here, let's just uh, let's go up here. Just explore a little bit. Let's see if they're still back up this way. Yeah, awesome little find. So, thanks to Kathy for taking us here. I had no idea this was here. I mean, I've been in the area several times. I never knew this little gem was here. Alright, well I found Jay and Dee Dee's back up at the at the car. So 
amazing pool place here. The mystery meat ruins. <laughs> Oh, there's Kathy down there. Yeah, just amazing place. Not too much graffiti, but obviously some people come here. So I think that'll be it for this place. We're gonna head out to another location just up the road, Devil's Hole. I filmed there before too, but we're just gonna, we're in the area, so we're gonna check it out, maybe discover some new things. I'll try, I'll try to remember to throw up a map of this location of where we are. Pretty sure this is state game lands. But uh, yeah, beautiful place to check out. I mean, awesome place. Once again, thanks to Kathy. I didn't really know what we were gonna find here, but it was well worth it. So as always, thanks for coming along and I'll see you in the next video, hopefully, at Devil's Hole. I think we just discovered what it is. There's a sign here at the end of the road. Mount Pocono Electricity Plant. Yeah, it's for electricity. Paradise Historical Society recognizes this location. In 1919, Mount Pocono Light Improved Company. I'll let you read all that. Yeah, flume resting on the concrete piers carried water from the dam to the water wheel. Wow. Oh, in 1955, the flood burst this dam, washed out the railroad embankments and created a wall of water, which was a major cause of destruction and death downstream. Wow. Yeah, all right, so there you go. Yeah, I, I know I already did an outro, but yeah, that's what it was. We were not too far off. I thought maybe it might have been electrical plant, but that's what it is. I hope you could read the text. I didn't want to read the whole thing. We're kind of parked on the middle of the road. So once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.